Hi, I'm glad to have you here. Today we're going to talk about how to use custom stages in OpenLP to add lyric overlays to your OBS live stream. If this is something you've been wanting to do, here's your open source solution. Okay, so let's get down to business. What are you going to need? You need OpenLP, the latest version, version 3 beta. You're also going to need a file called customstage.zip. I'll put a link in the description to the OpenLP online reference manual, which tells you how to set up custom stages. So that's the meat of it, and we're just going to import the custom stage into OBS as a browser source. This will allow us to customize the background using CSS. Let's get started. First, you're going to need to download customstage.zip. It's right down here under custom stage views, and then you have a link, customstageview.zip. You'll click this, it will download the file. The next step, we need to create a folder to put this in. I'm going to need to go to your OpenLP data folder. We're going to create a new folder called stages and data. Now, you're going to go to that new folder. We're going to call this demo. We'll unzip the contents of stageview.zip into our folder. We've called it demo here. And now we simply edit this file stage.html. So we'll open that with your favorite text editor. Personally, I like Notepad. You can use whatever text editor you use. All right, so really quickly, let's compare these files, see what we're looking at. Here we have a write div that contains a clock and notes. Here's that clock. Next we have the verse order up here in the left. We then have the current slide it's over here in white, and then we have the next slide, that's all this in yellow. I don't bother you, but I don't want all this other stuff on my screen. We're just going to delete this input. We're going to delete this whole right div. We don't need the verse order in our stream, and we don't need the next slide in our stream. So now we basically just stripped this down to just the current slide. We're going to save that. So now let's refresh our web page here. Now we just have the text of the current slide. So that's all there is to it. We're just going to strip out everything that we don't want, and we're going to save that. We're making progress. We're getting where we want to go. We're going to put this as a browser source, and this is going to work really well. All right, so here's OBS. So there's our wall with some lyrics up on it, but you can't read that in the stream. Let's not kid ourselves. So we want to add our text over it. Uh, what we're going to do is make a browser source. Now, we need to get the URL for that scene that we just created. The way we're going to do that, we're going to jump over here into OpenLP. Let's go to Settings, uh, Configure OpenLP. We're going to come down here to Remote Interfaces. And right here, your remote URL. Copy that link. Now, back in OBS, we are going to paste that link into the URL. Uh, you want to make your width match your stream width. I like to keep the height much smaller because I want a lower third, so it's running across the bottom of the screen like this, or the top of the screen, depending on the scene. You have to add slash stage slash demo in our case, or whatever you name that file. Now, we have the text there. There's some issues. It's not super nice, and it's a little hard to read. So let's do a bit of formatting so we can deal with that. So where we're going to do, we'll do file manager. We're going to go to stage.css. Edit that with your text editor. Here we are in stage.css. So there's a couple different ways we can go about this. The 
properties down here, the custom CSS in OBS. We can edit it there, or we can go to our file uh, stage.css here in the from the zip folder that we got from the zip folder, and that will give us another place where we can edit it. So the main things we want to look at are we're going to want to change, pick a pick a new font probably. Uh, we're going to want to center this up and overflow hidden so you don't get scroll bars, and we're going to going to want to adjust the font size. We'll look really quickly over here. I've got one I've already set up. I'm just going to go through the settings. I'll put a link in the description for you. Here's what I have. I've got overflow hidden on the body. I've got the font family set. We go to current slide, padding 10 pixels, uh, text align center, vertical align middle, font size 35 point, text shadow 2 pixel, 2 pixel, 8 pixel black, so that gives an eight pixel fade out with two pixel offset. Letter spacing, four pixels, line height, 1.2. Color white, padding bottom, zero pixels. This basically makes our font a nice size. Uh, it puts a nice outline around it. Save that, refresh. So now you see the text is in the middle of the screen. Maybe we might want to make it bigger. It seems so, still seems a little small. It might be a little hard to read. So maybe we want the font size to be 40. We're going to refresh this. Now it's gotten a little bigger. We're still running into a problem where, in this case, my ceiling has hot spots. There's lights up there. There's dark spots with fan blades and things. It's just a nightmare to make a readable text. So what we're going to do is add a little more CSS that will help deal with that. So now what we're going to do to make this a little more readable on a background with a camera feed is add a gradient behind the text. So what I've got done here is I've just thrown together a, a bit of CSS that will help with that. So this is goes in the body section. And what we've done is we've set the background, the linear gradient, and then a linear gradient you can just to say your RGB values, RGBT values. So we can set this to 0.9, uh, so the bottom's super dark, and then we'll fade down to 0.75 at 80% of the way through, and then we'll go to zero at 100%. So uh, that just gives a gradient uh, from black, or almost black, to see-through. Um, that's all we're doing, and then we're setting the pixel hard so that it doesn't wrap the uh, gradient. That just looks bad. Point. You can do that down here, 0 0.9, 0 0.75, and that just gives it a nice uh, gradient. So that's some tweaks you can do to, for the text to make it more readable or to look nicer. Um, you could also add images back there. You could do pretty much whatever. If you've used OBS, you know uh, you could also add highlights on the OBS end. Uh, you don't have to do it just in the CSS file or in the properties for the browser source. You can uh, learn more CSS. Uh, whatever you can think of you want to do, you can do with CSS. Just look it up. So this is where it gets awkward. It's time to end the video, and I can never end videos. So drop a like or subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to see them down below the video. Until next time, if there is a next time, happy streaming or something.